It is Sunday. This is my Sunday vlog. Yep. Um, it, it was an excellent church service. It really was. Um, today was my pastor's birthday. We all sang him happy birthday. And uh, he got a big old cake and a few gifts I think uh, Nick and I as soon as we got home Nick just went ahead and ran the compressor or the generators made sure they're running why well we're gonna get ice probably they they're saying Tuesday I expect it to hit tomorrow. Going by my crippled body as a barometer, um, my son Chris is out in the driveway replacing the brake pads on my wife's pickup. Um, we'll take it to, she has a doctor's appointment in Ada tomorrow at 1.30. Has to see her oncologist or cancer doctor and I'm hoping and I believe she'll get a free bill of health. Um, we, uh, but Nick and I, we took the pickup to church, came back, and Nick and I were going to go get hay. There is no hay for sale anywhere today that's open. I'll have to wait and get a hold of. Uh, the feed store in Sulphur tomorrow and probably have to go get hay over there but Nick and I we got uh, we went and got five bags of feed I think two different kinds of chicken feed and uh, um, goat feed sweet feed uh, excuse me I got plenty of sleep last night. Linda and I are watching a show on Netflix called uh, Lockwood and Company, and we've got two episodes left. It's pretty, pretty much fun. It's made for young adults, but I like the fact that she and I like it. Does that mean we're young adults again? Not really. Um, Nick has to go fuel up his, his Suburban and fuel up his Navigator. And um, we need to get my son Benjamin a few groceries. There's uh, just a lot of things going on. Um, I got the Guitar Nuno sent me strung. It's a little bit smaller than the one my, my uh, brother Chris gave me. Got it strung. There's the D string keeps losing tension. That's okay. Uh, I've got the heater on high in here. It's going to have to stay on high. There is um, ice coming. Um, I know the kids will go to excuse me to school tomorrow. It's highly doubtful they will on Tuesday. My friend Mike Deoust had to go back to Oklahoma City. He has a he and his dad and, and mother dad and mom have a fire extinguisher company and he has to service them up in Oklahoma City and uh, at least up there if the electricity gets shut down the hospitals that he services have generators um, I We'll wait until after I take Linda to the doctor tomorrow, and then I need to see about getting a the hotspot. I do need one for the van. 
probably ought to get one anyway in case the electricity goes off. The kids can watch stuff on YouTube or we can uh, rig it up so they've got at least one one uh, source of entertainment. We've got videos. Uh, man, I didn't realize I was going to be yawning all the way through this. Let me get a sip. We haven't done an equipment run through yet. Uh, the batteries are in our bedroom. And uh, we, we've we got to check all that out. Um, but when Nick and I went to the feed store, we took my van. Man, that thing's comfortable. I mean, it definitely, when it was made, was the top of the line. And it finally has 12, 112,000 miles on it. It had, uh, I think... 111,700 and something, 780 miles on it, and it just rolled over past, so I put about 300 miles on the thing since I got it, which is fine, um, maybe 400 miles. Oil's been changed, plugs have been changed, my son Chris serviced it for me. It just Cadillacs along, it, it's a very smooth truck very powerful oh. and I keep finding out things about it I like that sounds weird um, it's got a separate setup a little turn it knob that feeds AC or heat to the back of it um, the uh, the uh, inverter's hooked up, works just fine. I haven't been in it to do anything yet with the computer in there. Um, and I'll get around to it. It's, it's just the cold outside right now is brutal. It really is. And my youngest son is out working on the pickup in brutally cold weather. He's a tough kid. Uh, just a second. Uh, I got uh, summoned basically while I was sitting in church and I had to go out of the chapel and, and uh, take the, the call. I'm not going to say what it is I was called about, but it was by somebody I used to work for in the intelligence community, and uh, some uh, sticky situations are coming up in the near future. They'll hit the headlines, but I'm bound by oath and by signed affidavit not to say anything. Um, it's not necessarily bad stuff, but for many people it will be a little scary. I gotta see what this is sitting on my I keep having stuff show up in here. Okay. A box of uh, self-tapping screws I forgot I had. I'll put it down in the, and that'll make me a trash bag for my, my van. Put these down in here. Um, <clears throat> well now, had two baptisms at church today my friend Juliet and my friend Chad two people I love with all my heart and uh, then a lady from uh, Hope Ministries in Ardmore came in her name's Leanne and she uh, basically 
uh, took the Sunday school class over. No, she did take it, and it was well worth listening. It gave us information on... Uh, okay, let me back way up. In Oklahoma, we are a non-abortion state. It, you, when the United States Supreme Court ruled against uh, Roe versus Wade, um, made it illegal on a federal level and left it to the states to interpret the, the law. In Oklahoma, we are a red state. We're a conservative state, and there are um, and no, no abortion clinics in Oklahoma, not anymore. It's illegal to get an abortion here in, in the state of Oklahoma. Um, I have several friends that take exception to that. They don't live here. I have, they call it pro-choice, I call abortion murder, which is what it is. You know, like, like this lady said, life begins when the sperm meets the egg and there's a spark. And life begins right then. It really does. And, um, A baby is fully formed in the womb at six months and there are places that will do late-term abortions for no reason other than the mother wants it. Uh, but she is the director on HOPE down in Ardmore, Oklahoma and they provide um, young women that have opted not to have an abortion a new crib, a new car seat, diapers, a new bassinet, I think, just all kinds of things, plus new clothing for the baby, for the first year of that baby's life to help them cope with it. And they have counseling. It uh, is a very good organization. I don't have their address, I just know that it's Hope. Um, pregnancy center or something like that in Ardmore so take a look at it if you're watching this I, I've had friends argue with me you don't know what you're talking about uh, abortions not murder they're not alive until they're out of the womb no they have a heartbeat if there is a heart beating at 10 12 weeks which is where usually an abortion takes place that is a heartbeat outside of the mother and that is the truth and she told us about in Kansas and Arkansas and somewhere else they can go right across the border and there will be RVs there from Planned Parenthood uh, wait to provide a mobile abortion an abortion in that RV most people that are pro-abortion really don't understand how heinous that act is, number one. And number two, a lot of them don't want to think about God. God doesn't enter into the equation. Many of them don't believe there is a such thing as God. And uh, it's a... Uh, I don't believe that there should be an abortion. Now, I do believe in some exceptions to the rule. In case of incest, rape, or absolutely the life of the mother is at stake. Not just because the doctor says there is, but if there really is, uh, the mother is going to die giving birth. Um, and that's my personal belief. It's contrary to what a lot of my friends believe. 
It's just my personal belief. Um, now, getting off of that, if you're in an area that is going to be freezing rain, sleet, whatever you want to call it, prepare. Get you some an alternate heat source. If you've got the money and if you've got the time and the way to go get it and um, make sure that you've got a way to stay warm make sure you've got food and water for in case things go south go desperate real quick and uh, there's the potential for that Linda and I watch a channel called Ryan Hall y'all on YouTube and he's been talking about this and then there's another guy that we watch called Aaron Tuttle Meteorology and Aaron Tuttle's been talking about this too and uh, Tuttle's viewpoint is it's going to be here sooner than Tuesday I just looked at the National Weather Service thing and they're saying Tuesday I personally feel like it could hit tomorrow now know that I love you, know that God loves you, know that God will forgive you. Ask for it. Ask to be close to God. Study His Word. And above all, well not above all, but you know, faith, hope, and charity are the three great blessings that God has given man and the chief among them is charity. Charity is another word for love. And one of the best ways to exemplify and to show love is right up there. Be kind. Be kind to anything and everything and anybody and everybody. Be kind. I gotta get off here. Bye.